Welcome back, gents. Today, it's a very quick range tip where I'm testing some M855 ammo. I have both IMI and this PMC stuff. So we're gonna see how well it does. I already have one mag loaded up to test. This is gonna be with uh, one of my other uppers. But I'm gonna be doing some chronograph tests and we're also testing on multiple platforms. This is a 20 inch stainless steel shill and barrel with a 30 times scope and a Veltor upper. Over here, we have two 16 inch barrels. One's Cold Hammer Forge by Bear Creek Arsenal with a red dot. And this is Iron Sights with a Faxon barrel. And those are Ultradyne C2 Iron Sights. There you go, they're aperture sights. So let's get to testing. And like I said, we're gonna be doing some chronograph testing as well. See how fast these go. Okay, my 20 inch shilling barrel, let's take a look. Average. Oh, and this is the PMC X, X, X TAC. I word it. So high, 3120. And this is a 62 grain bullet. So that's, uh, yikes. Low. Snare deviation, 12. Not bad. Extreme spread, 31. So average. Okay, this is the IMI out of the shillin. So the average, 3093. High, 3154, low, 3132. So that's definitely, from the five shot sample size, definitely a lot worse. This is the IMI out of a 16 inch barrel. Hmm. Let's take a look at the brass, rather the primers. You can see here, primers don't look too affected, but you can see ejector smears and what have you on the bottoms of all those focus. Let's get some sunlight in there. There we go. Now let's take a look at the IMI because this was the PMC X-TAC. Well, I'll just grab these three because I had them picked up and was looking at them. You can see there, this one more or less looks fine. This middle one definitely has a smear. And honestly, when you look at the rest of them, if it focuses, you will notice the story is largely the same. A lot of them have some sort of mark, but not all of them, which kind of matches what we found out from our chronograph, right? So either way, both of these are pretty hotly loaded and they're, they're potent. They're very potent. Okay, these groups are my shilling barrel. This is the PMC X-TAC. This is the IMI. This is with the magneto speed. I got a flyer up there. This is without. So oddly enough, the x tech did worse without the magneto speed, but just five shot groups. Bear Creek Arsenal with the magne magneto speed without. So totally different shift to the point to impact. This is almost a little bit lower. Well, lower without. Whereas this one with it on, it's more to the right. Then lastly, iron sights, no magneto speed. One, two, three, four. Oh, and a flyer down there. I'm out of practice, so I'll own up to that. But you can see where it wants to group. And it's about a three inch group. I'm doing a little bit better there, about the same. With a 30 times scope, yeah, like inch and a half, two inches. We'll say two inches. This is the fax again with IMI. And this is the Bear Creek Arsenal with the red dot. It's one, two, three, four, five. That's just schmutz that's on the paper. Whew. Targets make a difference, definitely. Let's do a very quick voiceover summary of what we saw here today. 
I think that overall, you can say that there really wasn't much difference, if any at all, between the two brands. And actually, we did notice some differences. The PMC XTAC did measure more consistently and measure better over the chronograph. On the flip side, it also more consistently displayed high pressure signs. So take all these things into account. But I'm not trying to give a recommendation. That's not really the point of this testing and that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that when I'm developing my own load, what expectations can I reasonably set for trying to replicate such a load? And it does seem to be that about a two inch group, anything under two inches, I should be pretty happy with. Also, it looks like I can get pretty spicy and send these 62 grain bullets going about 3,100 feet per second. I'm not sure if I want to get that spicy, but it could be fun.